Hello, I wanted to make a quick video today on this Nintendo Entertainment System. I bought another Nintendo Entertainment System because I wanted to improve the condition of it. Now, I did this with the Sega Mar System. I bought another one, swapped out the plastics on the console, the uh, controllers. I swapped around in the inner packaging stuff for my Sega Mar System box to make a perfect condition Sega Mar System console. So I wanted to do the same thing with the NES. Now, uh, two of my controllers for the NES are quite scratched up, and so is the console. So I got this one. The box is not nice, but my one's good anyway. My one up there. So here's the console, and uh, it does not look as good as it did on the pictures on eBay. Um, I had a quick look yeah one of the controllers the back of it is actually nice so I can I think this was the one anyway I could like swap it out and, and stuff like that yeah because um on both my controllers the fronts the front of them are like spotless but on some of the backs on one of the backs on one of the controllers is very got a lot of deep scratches in it and I think one of these is nice so that's good I was looking at the console, and I was starting from like the back and everything, and this console, even though it's filthy dirty, even though it wasn't in the pictures, it is spotless, but then I started to look at the front, oh the other good thing about this console was as well, it's white, and um, that's why I went for this Nintendo Entertainment System, because it's still white, it hasn't gone yellow. Um... Uh, the other bad thing about this console is as well, it stinks. And uh, this is the other problem with it as well. Now, uh, my Nintendo, uh, there's a few dings and scratches on it. I don't mind light scratches, I just don't want the dents. So, on the front, yep, you can see that right there, there's a deep scratch there. This is the worst one. There's a horrible deep scratch there. The worst part is the lid. Look at that massive deep scratch. Um, yeah, this, this, this really annoys me because it's the front of the console that you see. You don't see the back. So if there was just um, a, a, a little deep scratch on the back and nowhere else, that would have been all right because it's the back. But the freaking back is minter than the front. Now, parts of this console is in better condition than my one, but my god, this is filthy, and yeah, I'm just really annoyed about the front of it, because that's the part you see. I think the bottom of my console's mint. I think it is. Um, the top shell is definitely better than my one. This flap, you can swap them out easily. So, the flap on my one is the one I'm going to keep. So yeah, I'm just going to have to Frankenstein, I'm going to have to combine the plastics to make a Mint NES. I don't mind doing that, I just really didn't want to. <laughs> uh, thing is, yeah, my Nintendo is very reliable, it works perfectly. This one I have no idea, and because of how dirty it is, I seriously doubt it. it's going to run perfect. So yeah, that's a job to do, and I don't even have time for it. So I wanted to... Uh, go to Brighton this week and make a video and everything. Um, probably can't do that now because I'm not going to get this all finished in time. There's just too much to do in my room. So, yep. Well, that's the end of this video. Hopefully this goes according to plan and I can actually make them in 10 years. Because uh, if I can't, then I've just wasted uh, a ton of money on this. Yeah, the annoying thing as well is, is I search like quite a few pages on eBay for NES consoles and all of them were f filthy dirty, dark yellow or goldenish brown yeah just cigarette smoke damaged and just yeah all scratched up and there, there was an annoying one where um, the, the console box looked brand new but then when you looked at the console it was all gone yellow and disgusting so yeah
that's why I went for this one. I was like, you know what? My box is not that bad. It's the console I need to be perfect. So the, uh, hopefully I can actually make this nice and then I can sell it. Yeah, the remains of uh, this console. So, yep, yeah, that's the end of this uh, short video. So thanks for watching. Goodbye. I'm finally finished with this Nintendo Entertainment System. It's sitting on my TV display. It's looking all nice and shiny and white. In much better condition than my old one. My old Nintendo console sold it in CEX for £80. Uh, the good thing about this one is, is uh, it's the lockout chip has been removed so I could put any game into this one. And I find it more reliable than my old one as well. The games just come on straight away and yeah there's no lockout chip so I could put any game in there. I've got my my fake Nintendo cartridge in there and that comes on straight away. I don't have to mess around with it. I had to keep pressing reset like eight times to get it to work. You have to bypass the lockout chip. But now I don't have to do that. There is a slight problem with this Nintendo console though. That I've cleaned up and restored and stuff. There is this horrible little dent on it. I really, really don't like that. It's a shame that's there really because the whole entire game console is spotless. Apart from that one little bit of damage. But oh well. So much better than my old one. So, yep, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.